the Nuggets are finally close to their first NBA Finals. Let's take you through it. We're going to talk to the star of the game here in a second. All your post-game starts right now after this highlight, which was highlighted by the one and only Jamal Murray coming off a 23-point fourth quarter in game number two. Absolutely lit it up tonight in the early stages of game three, as Max said, putting the 17-time champions on the brink. Murray on fire. Nuggets on fire. They're in control. And then Murray on the back door. 53 over the last three quarters going back to game two. Remember, he was pretty inefficient in the first three quarters of game two. And then since then has been on fire. Anthony Davis had a nice bounce back game after he struggled in game two. 38-year-old LeBron to the cup end to end. And the Lakers have cut into it. It's a three-point game at the half. Much like Denver, they are undefeated at home in the postseason. Keep an eye on Jokic, who's got three fouls, had a quiet game by his standards, goes to play Deion Davis, called for a foul underneath. Jokic has to go to the bench with four. What do we think about the contact here? Knee on knee. Anytime Davis's knee clutches, you got to worry about it. Some contact there. Nuggets got to worry about playing with Jokic. Jokic without Jokic. Austin Reeves had himself another terrific game. We're tied at 71. Davis, a much better shooting night, as I mentioned. And remember, without Jokic in there, they're just simply taking advantage. They dominate the paint. LeBron on the kickout for three. Remember, he couldn't hit a three-pointer coming into the game. He was 0 for 10 in this series. And then LeBron, who had actually missed his last 19 threes coming into tonight, connecting from downtown, trying to really save the Lakers season. Remember, no one's ever come back from 3-0 down. Jokic, oh my goodness! Nuggets up two after the free throw. Lakers down three. LeBron to the cup. Got it. It's a one-point game. Eight minutes to go. This is the combination they've been waiting for. LeBron, Davis, one-point game. Bruce Brown, who had 16 off the bench in game one, had seven in the fourth quarter of tonight's game. The Nuggets say he's actually our sixth starter. He just comes off the bench. And then Murray wide open. How can you leave Jamal Murray wide open after what you've seen? And then Murray, he's got to cool off at one point. Uh, no, Brown, yes! An 11-0 Denver run. Make it 13-0. The sublime passing from Jokic. Incredible. Michael Porter Jr. gets it to go. And the Nuggets are going to win this thing 119 to 108. They can seal the deal Monday night on ESPN in LA in advance to the NBA Finals for the first time in their history, which spans 47 years in the NBA. You're up 3 0 in a series against the team led by the King. Hey, LeBron is awesome, but it shows that those teams that have had that lead, just like the Nuggets do now, win the series, and win it, Max, handily. NBA analyst Jalen Rose joining us on SportsCenter. Jalen, we just saw Jamal Murray drop 30 in the first half. How did that performance set the tone for the Nuggets in this one? You're on the roll after being up two. Many anticipate you should win at home. The Joker wasn't looking to score and was struggling in the first half. He had foul trouble. Michael Porter Jr., and Brown each have foul trouble. And Jamal Murray put the team on his back with an avalanche of buckets. Flurries is what I was calling Jamal because he was really giving it to the Nuggets. He was really giving it to the Lakers to the point where he was carrying his team, keeping them in the game at halftime. It was a spectacular first half performance. He was doing it from the post. He was doing it in transition off the catch, off the dribble, and he was an equal opportunity employer because he was giving everybody the business. 31, 37, 37. Those are the numbers that we're getting from Jamal Murray. Mind you, he has no all-star appearances on his resume. Nikola Jokic scored just five points in the first half, but had a clutch fourth quarter for the Nuggets. What did he do differently to bounce back in crunch time? The beautiful thing about the Joker is he doesn't only have to score in order to be dominant and or effective. He's going to give you the boards, but also the playmaking. And then in the fourth quarter, he finally started to score. Whether it's Hachimura guarding him on the post, whether he got a chance to knock down and step back a couple of threes, a couple of and ones, got himself to the free throw line. 
He did what you expect your two-time MVP to do, work himself into the game, not force anything, stay within himself, and before you know it, the shot started to go in, but it didn't stop him from playmaking. He still was trying to get Michael Porter Jr. shots. Shout out to Contavious Caldwell Pope, who found moments to make plays not only in today's game, but has been terrific defensively. And how about Bruce Brown, who they consider their sixth starter. They're 9-0 in the postseason when he scores 12-plus. Total team victory for the Denver Nuggets. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.